Hey guys, Toby here with Eurocompulsion Tuning and today we're going to talk about the all new Eurocompulsion Tuner Link for the Jeep Wrangler JL 2 liter turbo. This device allows you to tune both the ECU and the TCU in your Wrangler straight through the OBD2 port. Today I'm going to give you a brief summary on how the Tuner Link works and what to expect when you get it for your Wrangler. So first we'll cover what is included with the Tuner Link and how it's going to communicate with your car. When purchasing the tuning system, you will get the actual tuner link remote tuning device along with a USB type C cable. You'll also get access to the tune delivery network or the TDN app, which is compatible with both iOS and Android phones and it can be downloaded from your app store super easy. Then there's the RTD flasher software, which also can be downloaded from our site and I'll explain a little bit later about what that actually does. And we also include the Security Gateway Bypass module, which you will need to install on your Wrangler prior to writing any tune to any module, the ECU, TCU, doesn't matter. Now let's get into how this system actually works. The primary software that works with the Tuner Link is the TDN app. At the time of your purchase, you'll receive an access code that links your device to our tuning cloud via the TDN app. You'll be prompted to enter this code at some point in the setup. And the setup is very simple. It's very user friendly. We have instructions on our site for how to use the app, but most of the time the app will tell you exactly what to do with guided prompts. It just pops right up on the screen. The app connects to your tuner link device via Bluetooth and all functions are carried out through this connection. The app has a number of different features in addition to just tuning, including data logging and reading and clearing DTCs, which is very useful. And once you read a file from your car with the device and the app, it automatically uploads to our tuning cloud. The same applies for when we upload a tune file for you. It will sync to your app and download to you automatically. For data logging, we have our own parameter configuration for the Wrangler 2 liter that automatically downloads to your device via the app when you set it up. Each time you data log, you can simply start the log and go and then stop when you're done. It's going to log our selected parameters and then automatically download that log to our tuning cloud for us to view and look at. The actual flashing process with the app is pretty simple. The first read takes about 10 to 15 minutes, but each time that you write to the ECU or the TCU after that, it takes literally less than 60 seconds, and it's a two-step process. You literally turn the ignition on, write, turn it off, check things, and then you're done. It's very, very simple, very user-friendly. Now, for the time being, Wrangler owners will also need what I referred to earlier as the RTD flasher software, which can also be downloaded from our site. The Wrangler ECU, the GPEG 4, is still in the final stages of being added to the TDN app. It will be soon. Um, so at the moment, uh, the app will only read and write to the TCU. Um, the RTD Flasher software will install on uh, any Windows device, and it will allow you to read and write to the ECU uh, via the device with the USB cable I showed before. It's a very simple software to use, there's only a read and write button in it, that's it. And the elapsed time for reading and writing is the same as the app, 10 to 15 minutes for a read, less than 60 seconds to write to back to the ECU. It's a very simple process. Now, once the GPEG 4 ECU is finalized in the TDN app, you will be able to use the app for both the ECU and the TCM. Uh, then there's the VCM scanner software, which is optional, um, but it's also very, very feature rich. This can also be downloaded from our site and will install on any Windows device. It will connect to the tuner link via the USB cable again, and allows you to create your own logs. Um, it will allow you to select your own parameters that you want to log. Um, you can view the parameters in real time you can set up gauges and graphs and other graphics uh, to display those parameters in real time um, and also play back your logs and view them and look at the information. It's very in-depth. It can also carry out a number of special functions for the Wrangler, 
like changing your gear ratios, tire sizes, speedometer corrections. It'll test various solenoids and fans on the car, uh, different modules, like th just various systems. Um, it'll also do a throttle relearn. It has a lot of features. Uh, this software is not required to be used, um, but it's very useful if you don't already have a taser or something else that can do all that stuff. And it's free to use and free to download on our site. So now that we've run through what each component, each thing does with the TunerLink system, we're gonna cover what the actual process of using the TunerLink looks like. First things first, just about every Dodge and Jeep currently requires the ECU to be unlocked before it can be tuned via OBD2. And the Wrangler is no exception. This is a procedure that we can perform in-house. Uh, this is an included service with the TunerLink system. And after purchase, probably the first thing you're gonna wanna do is send in your ECU to be unlocked so you have everything ready to go. While your ECU is out of the car, this is a good time to install your security gateway module, which will again be required if you wanna do any writing to the TCU or ECU. Once your ECU is back in the car, you can actually begin setting up the TunerLink device. You're gonna to wanna to download the TDN app to your phone or download the RTD flasher software depending on whether or not you're gonna tune the ECU or the TCU or both. And you will plug your TunerLink device into the car to get everything started. Most of the setup is pretty automated with the app. Um, it takes only a few minutes to install the RTD flasher software and you just click a button to connect it once you are plugged into the TunerLink. From there, you're gonna read your vehicle and that file will be automatically submitted to our tuning cloud and it will come directly to us. At this point in time, I would recommend also submitting a log from your car. This will allow for more accurate and precise tuning for your specific vehicle when we create your tune files. We also have a number of different maps that are available to you, uh, which you'll find on the item page for the tuner link. We've got a whole list of the maps, um, dyno results, power output. We have a number of different options as well things you can add to the tune, different features like uh, defaulting the auto start stop to off. We can do exhaust and downpipe optimization. We have a number of different features that you can add in there. So that's something that you'll wanna look at and you can include in notes and information when your tune file gets submitted. And the last thing is you'll receive your tune files back automatically. You'll get a notification via the app that they're there and you just click a button to sync them and they're ready to flash to your ECU. So that's a brief overview of the Eurocompulsion TunerLink system and pretty much how it works. If you have any other questions on the TunerLink or just any tuning for the Wrangler, feel free to reach out to us via our tuning email, which you can find on the website. And we'll see you next time.